three tips to ensure you get date number two. Okay, hang on. Number one, number one, before you ever get out on date number one, make sure you have done a call to pre-qualify so that you know at least there's some vibe and that you guys are both on the same page looking for the same things. That is number one. Hang on, there's more. Number two, make sure that you are going to match the pictures that they have seen of you, okay? Don't, you know, if there's any question about, you know, what you're actually gonna look like when you show up in person, if you're not really gonna match that, then you have to get ahead of it and send them a picture and say, hey, this is from today, or something like that, you know what I mean? Because the majority of times the reason people don't get date number two is because they showed up and they look different than the, what the person was expecting them to look like. And that could be because you weren't showing your body. It could be because your pictures, you had sunglasses or whatever it is. So just make sure that this person knows exactly what they're in for when they meet you, okay? And I got one last one for you. Number three, be lighthearted, be fun, be playful. Because when you show up and you're weird and you're really like wound too tight, and you're hung up and you're rude to the wait staff or you're you know you're just not relaxed and laughing and smiling and playful then you're going to be judged more harshly because let's face it everybody's judging each other you're doing the same thing okay this is, advice is for men and women by the way both um but but the more relaxed and playful you are and the more you can laugh at yourself and at things that, that happen um Actually, I'm going to give you one more after this, so hang on. But the better off it is, because even if maybe you don't look like your pictures, and even if you'd run a little late, or even, and don't ever do that, but, and, and even if you're not doing everything, you know, um, I think you can make up for it in personality. Smiling a lot, being fun, being playful, being engaged, not looking at your phone. Damn, I'm giving you even more than I promised. Okay, hang on, there's one last one. Not acting like you're on your therapist's couch. Never go on a date and talk about how your glass is half empty, okay? Your glass is half full when you're on these first few dates. Everything's great, perfect, amazing. If they want to dig into your past and you want to talk about things, you relate past relationships, just say, oh, you know, it was, it was a great time, but I've moved on and, you know, I'd love to talk about now. I, I, let's talk about current events, things we both enjoy, all right? These are some of my best tips for you. I hope it helps.